Okay, so here you are in your graph, and by now, hopefully, you have made uh, your position time data, all right, and you've answered the questions um, about the graph. Um, hopefully, you've seen that this should be a quadratic, right? So when you clicked here, curve fits, right? You can choose what you'd like. I've chosen quadratic. See how nicely it fits. Um, it's kind of nice to look and see, like you could look at, you know, like, I don't know, that one's not too bad because that's pretty close. But, you know, you can obviously see, like, this is not linear, right, when you take a look at this. So this should be quadratic. Um, okay, all right. So when you copied this into your class kick, you had this, and this box is important, okay? We're going to need this information, especially this A number, all right? Um, so now, when you go to linearize a graph, what you want to do is I want to take this data and make it so that it reads as a straight line, okay? But obviously, position and time are not linearly related, so I can't just graph position versus time. I have to change something, okay? So when you look at this graph here, y equals ax squared, okay? This is position equals some constant times time squared, all right? So if I want this to look like a line, I need to graph y versus one variable on the x, okay? So in this case, instead of um, graphing time, if I graph time squared, that's gonna make this turn into a line, okay? And this is a very common um, AP physics kind of a tool, okay? All right, so what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna insert a new column, okay? And this one's gonna be called time whoops, squared, okay? So the units would be second squared and the variable would be t squared. Okay, and hopefully we're going to go over this actually in class, okay? And then if I click here again and I change the column formula, I can take the, the column time, okay, and then square it, submit, and then that's going to basically take, so 0 squared is 0, 0 0.1 squared is 0 0.01, 0 0.2 squared is 0 0.04. So do you see it's just squaring the time, okay? These are really simple. You could have just probably typed these in yourself, right? I don't know why this one doesn't come out to be 0.49, but whatever. Okay, so who cares about all these numbers? I have no idea why it has all those. All right, so now when I change this graph, and instead of picking time, if I pick time squared, okay, see what happens is this makes this a line. Okay, and it probably, um, let's see. How is it? That still looks actually pretty decent, which is not right. Okay, all right, and then here you're gonna have this linear shape now. You need to change this to linear, even though the quadratic looked surprisingly decent. Um, and then you're gonna need this new equation for your graph. Okay, so hopefully we're gonna go over this in class, but that's how you linearize the graph.